greetings again so in this session we'll be discussing about uh, simulating some basic electronic circuits if possible we'll uh, take up complicated ones and uh, we'll start our discussion with uh, basic ac circuits and uh, dc circuits and i'll be expecting you to interact to the fullest because we are uh, going to see things which are uh, very basics okay i guess uh, whether any new students are there let me just check once let me see. just uh, so like i said we'll be seeing the basic circuits i like to 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 interact discuss or else uh, i'll assume that uh, we are following the things properly so we'll start with a very simple dc circuit this is a uh, dc voltage source having one volt supply very common we will be requiring a load a load will usually be replaced by resistor so this is our resistor we'll just connect this so most important part ground okay let's make it look nice okay, good so we will be simulating in the time domain here at the bottom we have a time symbol where we'll be simulating with respect to time simplest circuit one volt supply is there one kilo ohm resistance is there so if we switch on this one volt will be transferred here because there is only one sink law of conservation of energy this one volt will come here plus because it is of 1 kilo ohm the current it will allow is 1 milliampere 1 volt by 1 kilo ohm 1 milliampere so let's check it yes good enough so 1 volt supply is there it is generating 1 milliampere current because it is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistance so very simple enough and what the uh, changes will do is just for uh, beautification we will pause this add a light emitting diode okay. so we have a diode available we'll use this t layer connected to positive i'll rotate it connect it let's see if it blows okay not blowing because uh, we have not seen the voltage requirement okay this requires 2 volts this led requires 2 volts to run so we'll increase this voltage and let's see if it turns on at 2 volts still not 3 4 Okay. It'll still increase more because this is a simulation. We can go with very high voltage also. Okay, so the LED is glowing. We'll be having two options for this session. I'll be skipping the mathematical parts so that uh, we can enjoy the simulations. If we keep calculating the things. chances are uh, we will be running out of time if you are interested let me know so that we can uh, take up mathematical analysis also and simple enough we have a voltage source curve simple led we'll assume that it does not have any resistance simple current calculation we can again get one last time 
we'll try to change the color red yellow okay, red seems cool so this is our basic dc circuit asha can you confirm with the all is well Asha. Yes, yeah, sir. Everything is good. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, this is our DC circuit. We'll take up an AC circuit. Simple AC supply, one kilohertz. We will add a resistance, and I'll keep these things simple. Basic one kilo ohm resistance. We'll short this. Put a ground. Very important. So again, simple calculation. Nothing much is there. If we know the voltage, sorry. If we know the voltage, okay, one volt, one kilo. So again, one milliampere will be generated. Let's test it. Resistance. Okay, very good. And uh, if you can come up and ask, that is uh, far better. Yes. I'll be very happy to interact. Theoretically, if we remove the resistance, current will go to infinity. Practically, if you remove this, this will blow. Means uh, LED cannot tolerate infinite current. Means very very high current, it cannot tolerate. It just do that also, not an issue. We'll just delete it, connect it from here to here. If I run this, the LED should blow. Means it is permanently damaged. We have a short circuit. And if you can observe, we have a very, very high current of 626 amperes, which is impractical. Means you cannot have any circuit running on 626 amperes. This is how simulation helps. Mukesh, Chaudhary. Uh, sir, if we decrease voltage, sir. Yeah, 100%. You can decrease, but it is always advisable that resistance should be there, assuming diode is having very, very less voltage. Plus, if you yes, keep sir. decreasing the voltage, the diode will not get enough current and voltage to glow. So, unnecessary. We'll just decrease it. This all depends on resistance of the diode and its specifications. Specifications as in how much current it requires, what is the voltage it requires to run. So if you keep decreasing the voltage, the diode will not get damaged, plus nothing will happen in our circuit. Okay. For five also it is breaking down. This is showing that it is blown. We will still further reduce. Now it is not blown. Something is happening, but of no use. Okay. So very less voltage, less current. Diode is passing the current. You don't have any light or, like I said, nothing is happening. Shall we move to AC part, Nitesh? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So coming to this AC, what I will do? This is looking very, very slow. I'll just uh, increase the frequency. Maybe 10. Okay. So, or else somewhere here. On this AC part, what we have to observe is because it is an alternating signal, the polarity will change every cycle. Means for every positive cycle, the current will go in clockwise direction. For negative cycle, anti clockwise direction. So again, just for beautification, we'll add another light source here. Because it is an AC circuit, we cannot add LED. What will happen if we add LED? If 
it is a good powerful led it will glow for half cycle not glow for another half cycle but uh, let's use known okay i'm sure this should be our in kind of right let's check let's simulate okay good enough let's see whether this will glow will change the amplitude yeah right that is our incandescent bulb okay sorry again we damaged i think i am getting chat messages okay where is my chat okay so it will be tough for me to search uh, chat okay i'm getting my whatsapp notifications okay, okay. yeah so like i said if you interact it will be easy for me or else again just for verification we add the resistance not just for uh, making circuit look good it is a practice means we never create a circuit without ground or a resistance means load is compulsion so that can okay nice okay more than five non ground components and create some we have more number of components i will try to delete this connect from here to here let's see till now oh simple enough i'll just remove the dc circuit dc we know works very simple this let's see if i can run yeah good enough and the screen's empty i'm not sure to, why am i getting whatsapp messages like i said i will be releasing the recording yeah reply to them 7 day la 505 so can you confirm whether everything is good any students i am trying can you do the recording later smiley and thumbs up asha yes sir okay do you have any problem in uh, interacting no sir i can i can assign someone else to answer me sure no problem no problem sir okay very good are you seeing the ec circuit Yes, sir. Okay, done. So <clears throat> this is our AC circuit. Like uh, we can observe, this is uh, changing the direction of current once clockwise, and that time anti-clockwise. We'll try to reduce the frequency. So. clockwise anti clockwise we have another good uh, option to visualize which is seeing of waveforms we have an option here show waveform so this is our waveform sine wave we can also plot current but uh, we will keep things simple so this is our uh, sine wave i have reduced the uh, simulation speed so clockwise anti clockwise clockwise anti clockwise okay so the difference between dc circuit and uh, ac circuit is in dc only one direction current will flow so we can use led light will glow in uh, alternating circuit 
current will uh, keep changing its direction so we'll have incandescent bulb or any other uh, device which can uh, tolerate alternating current so we are spending a lot of time here but uh, just for making the concepts clear this is good enough excuse Okay, so what we'll do, we'll uh, learn about capacitors. I'll just delete this, add a capacitance. So whether anyone can guess what will be the change in our uh, operation. Okay, so what happens is we have a AC supply here. Bulb will... Uh, Think of it as resistance, another resistance. So we have two resistances, one capacitance. The basic operation of capacitor is it will uh, block the DC current. Most often students keep uh, confusing with this, <coughs> getting confused with this. What a capacitor does is, capacitor blocks direct current inductor blocks alternating current why capacitor blocks direct current is it will have high reactance for uh, dc and it has a dielectric in between we have a gap here it cannot conduct any current so in this circuit what happens is the capacitor will block the ac sorry we are using dc blocking in capacitor ac will pass this capacitor will charge and discharge okay let's simulate this because this is ac signal current will charge this and discharge it running charge discharge okay. like i said uh, we'll not worry about the analysis we'll see why this Polarity is not changing. Let me check. Okay, we have a resistance here. I'll remove this. It will add a time constant, RC time constant. Okay, so now this is changing. This is our AC signal. Capacitor charges, discharges in other direction. Charges, discharges in other direction. So it is in a way telling that capacitor allows alternating current. So if we plot this, we'll see a simple sine wave where the capacitor charges on one side, discharges on another side. We'll not worry about why this is blow blowing out. I think too many mathematical stuff will be required for this. I'll just reduce the amplitude so that we don't blow the bulb. We'll be requiring the calculation of resistance so that we don't blow this well. We'll be having the specifications. It is having a power rating of 30 milliwatt. So this is how capacitor works in AC circuit. Charge, discharge, charge 
this chart. So what we will do, we will remove this, we'll remove this, add a DC supply. Here we will have the understanding that capacitor locks DC. If we run this, capacitor charges no current. What's happening is this one volt transfers here. So if we check this voltage, it should be one volt. Same condition like we had for resistance. This is our uh, capacitor. Still it is a load. Like we have one source, one sink. So one volt will be transferred here, but current will not flow because we have a gap here. So capacitor is charged. It will charge to one volt. We will absorb discharging. Let's see if I am allowed to add more components. What we will do is we will take a, a resistance. We will create a discharge path. Connect it here. We have a switch here. We a switch. Let me use this. Create, okay, delete. Hopefully, the circuit will allow me to sign the address. Good enough. Asha, just one more time. Whether all is well? Yes, sir. Okay, very nice. So, what we have is I have two loops here. This loop is for capacitor and voltage source. Another uh, loop is for capacitor and resistance. What we are trying to do is we'll try to learn how capacitor charges and discharges. Because we are connected in this loop, closed circuit is in this loop. This voltage is transferred here. One volt. Here it is indicating one volt. If I switch this here, this will act like a voltage source and current will go through this resistance. So let's observe that. I'll just say it is running. I'll change the switch position. Oh, here we have a button here. Here toggle switch is there. This I have to press toggle. So yeah. keep it in there. So, charge. Charge. Discharge. Once discharge, current reduces to zero. Excuse. One last time, what's happening is we have a high resistance, so it is discharging very slowly. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, getting my charger. What happens is no resistance, so tau is very, very small. Tau equals RC. I'm talking about RC value. What is RC? RC is time. It is the time taken for charging and discharging. Just a 
just a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> so telling about RC. RC is time constant. So because we don't have a R in this part of the loop, it will charge instantly. Once we ask it to discharge, it will discharge based on the value of R and C. Okay, so many beautiful things can be observed. What I will do is, instead of reducing the resistance, I'll just add a LED so that we can actually see how the discharge is happening. Okay. We'll, uh, like this. Again, uh, let me see if I can. One, two, three, four, five, more than five components. Okay. Yeah, okay. so these simulations take a lot of time. I'll assign you some homework. If you complete and show interest, we'll have some more simulations. So what we did is we are now adding a diode here, light emitting diode, so that we can actually observe how discharging is going to happen. <coughs> Sorry. So what we'll do is we'll charge through this part and it will charge very fast because we don't have a resistance. It will discharge slowly based on RC time constant. Okay. To blow our LED will require two volts or we have a one kilo ohm here. We'll uh, charge the capacitor to a high voltage, let's say 10, some 10 volts. Okay. Let's simulate this. Okay, so good enough. Now our capacitor is charged to 9.85 volts. One more time. We'll just discharge this. Okay. So we are having a high voltage. I'll just reset the circuit. How to reset? I'll just discharge the capacitor. Very, very. Less resistance. Zero. Okay. So we have our zero voltage. The circuit is reset. We'll add a resistance. These things should not be confusing for you, but if these are uh, seeming tough for you, let me know so that you can spend more time with it. Okay, so now the circuit is reset. One last time. Charge. We are going to charge. I will put a whole number here 10 volts. This 10 volts charges this capacitor with 10 volts and it will happen instantly. Discharge through 1 kilo ohm slowly. Okay. Now it is charged to 10 volts. Now it is discharging through the resistance slowly. It means the LED glowing will reduce and become zero. And again, you can observe the voltage. We are seeing that the current is slowly decreasing. This is discharging of our capacitor. It is going to zero. Once it goes zero, we can come back to our voltage source in this loop and charge it again. Performs. This is at 10 volts, but nobody is taking it. What we'll do is we'll discharge, stop the discharging, and charge this. And just merge both of these. Let me see how to merge. Okay. Yeah. So charging is done. Now discharge. Charge to 10 volts. Discharge. Wow. 
if you want to see the led glowing you can just reduce the resistance so that time constant also reduces and the uh, led will be also brighter just keep it on the charge this charge charge 10 volts in the capacitor discharge at 10 volts to diode discharge why this is uh, discharging fast earlier it was taking time now it is discharging fast because we have very less resistance so this is how we are going to use the capacitor we'll uh, finalize today's discussion with uh, observing how capacitor will act as a filter for DC direct current. Asha, can you confirm whether so everything is yes, well sir. till here? Yes, sir. Thank you. So what we'll do? Is, yes, thank you, thank you. What we'll do is we'll uh, work with our capacitor using. an AC source and a DC source. So we already have a DC source. We'll add an AC source. We have a capacitor. We have a resistor. Sorry. This is our DC voltage, 10 volts. DC supply. Say let it be one volt, no problem. So the wave what is going to be generated is yeah, I think your dot man is sharing meeting link. Okay. So I'll add uh, some basic mathematics here. What will be the voltage here after this 10 volts DC? We'll have and so small v equals 10 volts. Simple equation. Because this voltage source is in parallel, sorry, is in series with this DC source, it will get added 10 volts plus 10 sine wave 2 pi f. F we know what is f 1 kilohertz and t. Okay, so basic uh, sine wave equation. Well, screen is uh, giving some problem. No issues. Let's uh, reduce that one. So, our wave equation after DC and AC is this. Okay. So, this capacitor it will eat 10 volts. Why it will eat? Because it will not allow DC supply to pass. So this will eat 10 volts and AC is going to be given to 1 kilo. Ohm. Okay. Let's simulate this. So there is my simulate button. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like expected. So like expected. So what's happening is this is going to be charged to 10 volts. You can just observe that. Because this is a single loop, we'll be not able to divide the current and uh, 
observe, but you can divide the voltage and observe. <coughs> so this is one very interesting graph. What's happening is this is getting 10 volt plus 10 sine omega t. This resistance is going to get only 10 sine omega t because 10 volts is being taken up by this capacitor. We only see one wave. Let's see green one. This is our green one. What is our resistance getting? Resistance is getting a wave on zero axis. This wave is on zero axis, indicating no DC added. Means it does not have any DC value. It only has this wave applied to it. 10 sine omega t. So sorry, 1 sine omega t. Did I write 10 here? Oh, sorry. This should have been 1. This part of the equation will be taken up by resistor 1 sine omega t. This part of the equation will be taken by capacitor 10 plus 1 sine omega t, but it will have passed 1 sine to this. It will remain with only 10 volts. We will observe blue one. We will stop green observing and we will try to see this wave. This wave is this wave has its crossing at 10 volts, indicating that this wave is 10 volt above one value, below one value, 10 volts plus one sine omega t. So this is how we are uh, going to observe <coughs> capacitor operation in AC circuit. And also we have added a DC voltage source here. I'll just uh, stop here and uh, spare two minutes for any doubts or uh, any kind of feedback. Uh, not just those. So, Asha, whether everything went well till here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, can you give notes of this in Google Classroom, sir? Notes as in? What kind of notes are you expecting? Uh, this chapter notes, sir. No, we are not discussing any chapters. I mean, the AC circuit. Uh... Okay. What we did today is. We are discussing about your basics. What you have learned till now. We have not learned anything new in our uh, subject. But what I can do is, I'll share this recording. If you want, you can. Uh, Simulate on your uh, laptop or uh, on your uh, smartphone also. I will guide you. Any other doubts? Sir, symbol and their meaning, sir. Sorry. OK. Uh, I'm not sure what symbols are you discussing about these things. Their symbols, uh, its uh, meanings, and uh... sorry, I'm not getting who is speaking. Sir, which symbol means what, sir? We don't know clearly. Okay, so I guess you are uh, talking about the. Simulator, or is it about your uh, learning what you have done till now? Sir, simulator. Okay, Nikesh. Means most of the things are uh, simple enough. AC source, DC source, ammeter, sorry, current source. This is our voltmeter, ammeter, ohmmeter, dependent voltage supply, dependent current source. Ground, inductor, capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, ground. Okay, so a number of things are there. Unfortunately, we don't have this for your syllabus. So if you want to learn, 
let me know so that we can conduct extra classes to learn these things or else uh, like suggested by our academic coordinator next week we'll be starting with our actual syllabus i hope that will be good any other things any discussion any kind okay so if any doubts are there uh, let me clarify them through the whatsapp group or else uh, we'll call this a day asha shall we wind up yes sir yeah thank you all the best good day